Elon's Neuralink will change the world, but is it safe and is it reliable? This deep dive will go over some human trials and some animal trials. I'll also be going over some ethics and the controversy behind animal testing. My name is Tim, this is Cyborg Money, let's hop right in. So recently Neuralink was facing a federal probe and it kind of went viral in the media because of these number, these staggering numbers. The company killed over 1,500 animals and that included 280 sheep, pigs, and monkeys. I personally am a neuroscientist and I work with zebrafish and mice a lot. And I know that when scientists or researchers work with sheep, pigs, and monkeys, it means they're close to human trials. And it doesn't look good having this many animal die, right? Um, so after reading this, I really wonder, right? Like, what are the causes of the death, right? Is it, or, and are these deaths humane? So I look at this Vox article. And it reads, and this is from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, right? Um, PCRM is a huge group. They are the ones who for oversee animal testing and to make sure that it's humane. Like, for example, for zebrafish, we can't just dump them in the sink. We have to humanely put them into an ice bucket to die and then to remove them properly. Um, so let's see here. Uh, the findings were gruesome. One rhesus mac monkey, monkey's nausea was so severe that the animal vomited which means that this is a this is gastric and it's it's from the monkeys itself sickness creating a viral effect had open sores in her esophagus before she was finally killed this is not good um if if they had this nearly implant in their head and this was the results from it what would happen if it was a human right uh surgeons used an unapproved adhesive to fill open spaces in animal skull so they might have been cutting corners to properly f use the Neuralink or have the monkey do certain actions, which led to detrimental results, which then caused the animal to suffer greatly due to brain hemorrhaging. I bet that hurt. Um, so above this, I think there's actually a video. So these are the monkeys and these are the pigs. Breakneck speed likely caused reachers to test and kill more animals than the slower. So basically, I guess that what they're saying is that for their research, they just they were very volume heavy. So they just wanted as many trials to see what the effects were to then analyze that data. Um, I guess that's why that's what Elon typically does and likes to do, but not with animals, but with tech. Uh, there's this incredible pressure by Silicon Valley dudes who want the devices on the market. They want to push things, but it's not even exactly. It's not, this doesn't even work for animals. So this is super scary because it's, Everyone's trying to be like, oh, I'll do the human trial. I'll do it next next year. We'll like there'll be public like the public wants it, but it's not even safe. Um, I feel like this sounds like this sounds like a lot of cases in medicine, where there are these situations where people really need the medication and will take the shot. For example, the Neuralink is super cool, and they'll take the chance, but it's it's truly not worth it. Um, so I'm ta I'm I'll take a deep dive in uh, the Guardian here. There's this. Um, if I could play this like monkey who's thinking the monkey pong, who's letting it bounce left and right. Um, the clinical trial doctors, you work closely with some of the most innovative doctors. And so, yeah, look, it's just, uh, one of the monkeys and with his brain, he's controlling it and the lever allows him to get some rewards. Right. Um, and this is the, these are the clinical trials and. I guess monkeys like this led got hemorrhages and X Y Z, which is which is definitely really really scary. Um, Cause and this video is kind of deceptive because it's like really cute. It's like exciting. You want to share it with your family, like oh, it's a monkey playing a game. But at the same time, it's really really scary technology. Like uh, there's that one Rick and Morty episode where the dogs take over. <laughs> that, that, that's what it reminds me of. Um, so here, uh, there's this NBC article. Elon Musk shows off updates to his brain chips and says he's going to install one. So this last article I thought to bring up was is super interesting to me because I I was wondering who which humans are actually down if there's so many problems with the animals itself. And it looks like Elon says that he's confident in it enough to actually take it himself. But I honestly think it's kind of a uh, I don't know. I don't think I don't know how much he's telling the truth on that one. Uh, but he did say, obviously, we want to stay extremely careful and certain about their work, and especially when they put the device in humans. Um, and it says that he submitted the paperwork to the FDA, but we know about the FDA. Sometimes things can be a little wishy-washy 
or even confusing. Um, so yeah, these, these Neuralink, Neuralink devices are, I guess, approved or also somewhat human tested, but I am hoping that they, they really test it more rigorously because of the interest that people have in it and how, like the adoption, right? The more safer it is, the more efficient, the better it works, the faster it will be adopted, right? And that's, I would guess, what Neuralink wants. And if you made it to the end of the video, please consider giving me a subscribe. I also have some links down in my description on how to make money uh, with bots and online cyborgs, as I call it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.